name is Anna Heika, uh, and I'm the founder and managing partner of uh, a VC fund. Uh, also of a first uh, investment bank focused on Poland. We are working since 1990. Uh, in the 90s, we focused on bringing foreign capital to Poland. And uh, nowadays, uh, we're trying to work with Polish capital to invest in Polish startups and then to make them global. We mostly invest in uh, the IT sector for obvious reasons. Uh, this is where you have the highest potential of growth. Uh, these are the companies that you can make global most easily. These are the companies that have the highest margins. And therefore, you can build value probably more efficiently than in any other sector. Mm, uh, we just invested in a company that is at the very, very beginning of a new trend related to mega cities. Uh, and they're creating a platform based on SaaS and uh, big data analytics. Um, to create a value added for companies and cities to communicate directly and making sure that uh, foreign direct investment can flow nicely and create jobs in different cities in the world. For us to invest uh, in a company, we need to make sure that the business model makes sense. It doesn't have to be perfect because we have a buy and build strategy, so we get deeply involved in optimizing that business model. Uh, but uh, we need to see that spark. We need to see that the team has this really creative idea, something which is disruptive, something which will become global, something which has a real need. We, we need to see the pain in the market and the willingness of potential clients to work with this company. And, um, if we have a good team, if we have smart people, if on top of it, it's a full team, if they have operating experience, if they have understanding of liquidity, if things like that are there, then we'll give really high valuation to the company. If not, we'll get more involved, probably value the company a little bit lower, but we will get uh, involved in making sure that the company can grow and fulfill its, its whole potential. So the company that I've mentioned, uh, the CEO is working in New York right now with people who are number one, number two, and number three in the world in this specific field. Uh, so we're talking about the US, Great Britain, and Australia in this specific case. Uh, and it looks really, really exciting. Uh, the speech that I just had really talks about people because I was explaining to, to the startups how important corporate val uh, culture is, how it has to be built on your internal values, how you have to make sure that your evangelists, i.e. your employees and your clients, um, really follow suit, that you create an ecosystem which is uh, synergistic uh, and persistent and uh, valuable to everybody around. And if you can do that, then uh, it should go forward and eventually you should achieve success, even if it takes longer or, or uh, quicker if you do it by coincidence or you do it by hard work. I was giving examples of Rovio where Angry Birds, which achieved a huge success, was uh, game number 60 something. So they had to persevere. Another example was uh, WhatsApp, where uh, actually it spread like wildfire and it was really a coincidence. The founder of the business didn't even think about that kind of an application. He was creating something different. Uh, and Tesla, which uh, where the, the founder has, against everybody else around, decided he's going to be building electric cars. And uh, I just read a report of PwC that next decade, we all are going to be driving these types of cars.